Hey guys, Bix Weir, RoadToRuda.com. I uh, just got back from my son's graduation from high school. Uh, really great time, interesting, interesting, interesting. The, the speeches that are given these days at, at high school graduations. Uh, no longer is it about, uh, you know, learn what you can from the people that, uh, you know, go to college and learn as much as you can so that you can regurgitate it later in life. Uh, amazing, they, they were talking about um, the things you learn today, you're going to have to use as tools in your future to build companies, to build a way to live. And uh, I think that's really interesting. And that's the truth. I mean, those people who are getting out of college now with a degree, you know, I have a degree that says I am officially certified to do something. Um, I just hope they're certified to learn how to create a job for yourself and create a living to take care of your friends and family um, I, th I think there's a huge, huge, huge shift, a huge change coming. And if you've been following my work about the financial industry, you can kiss all those go jobs goodbye. I mean, there will be new jobs that will be created and there already are new jobs created in the, in the crypto world, especially around, uh, where I live in Northern California. There's a lot of, uh, cryptocurrency startups, Bitcoin startups. Uh, I think it's the highest concentration, although this a phenomenon is happening around the world and uh, think back think back at the uh, dot-com days had you got in in the 1980s or the 1970s the early days of computer and and worked your way up and uh, probably would have made a good living for a long time that exact same thing is going on right now with cryptocurrencies and all the tools that are being uh, applied to the blockchain uh, again ethereum baby <laughs> ethereum 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 Get your hands on as much as you can. Bitcoin, yes, as well. And if you want to play the other cryptos, have a day. Some will make you fortunes. Some will be shown to be a complete and total scam, like a 100% scam. As in, there never was a coin. It was always just trying to funnel money into somebody's pocket. Uh, they took advantage of the euphoria and the Bitcoin mania. There's like over 750 cryptocurrencies now. Um, I would imagine that a large majority of those vast majority will go to zero once the fraud gets exposed it wasn't hasn't been much exposure of the fraud within the cryptocurrencies yet but there will be absolutely a lot of these coins are complete fraud um so make sure you do your homework on who is cre who created the coin what's it used for what's its utility if it's going head to head head against uh bitcoin good luck with that uh <laughs> i don't think they have a prayer especially when some of these cryptos get called into doubt and that will happen. So a lot of the, the tiny cryptos that you've never heard of but have gone up 10,000% uh, will go back to zero. And everybody who was in there is going to try to get out of that and get into something like uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin, which is more stable, believe it or not. Um, but Ethereum, I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, yes, it's gone up massively. It's going to go up massively more. I do think it will overtake uh, Bitcoin, the price, one for one, even though there's a lot more Ethereum coins out there, tokens. Uh, kind of like silver. I, I think silver is going to overtake gold at some point because there's a lot less silver out there and it is needed in so many different places. Uh, whereas all the gold out there is, you know, it's, it's just sitting in vaults collecting dust. Um, no, I don't think there's any gold in the uh, Fort Knox vault. But I also think there's massive amounts of gold everywhere else, so much more than the two Olympic-sized swimming pools, so much more than 180,000 tons. Uh, I would say two to three million tons of gold is out there uh, above and below ground that's already been, uh, been identified. I know in the United States, every time we find a gold mine, we stick it at a natural resource preserve. Or Diane Feinstein is famous for expanding the desert wildlife preserve in Southern California. Uh, right through the, one of the richest gold rift zones in the world. So that's what happens to gold in the United States. It gets hidden. Uh, hopefully I'll talk to Cliff about the Grand Canyon gold today. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on that. Amazing story. And it changed the world. It literally changed the world. Just imagine finding 100 times the amount of monetary gold, finding it in, in a single pile within the Grand Canyon and and not not bringing it out, not using it because it would cause way too much disruption, um, and then everything built off that. So that that's you know kind of where my book is going now is all the things that happened because 
of that gold that was found, the creation of the Federal Reserve, the uh, the allowing these these Federal Reserve banksters to manipulate everything because of the fear of of crashing the system and going back onto a gold standard. That's the fear is the crashing of the system. Too many people will die. But it just gets worse and worse. So the longer you wait for the crash, Mr. Trump, I'm speaking to you right now. Again, there's a reason you changed the curtains in your office from, I think it was uh, green before, to gold. Now it is gold curtains. I think they have red, red curtains. But now they're gold. It's one of the first things Trump did. Uh, brought back Andrew Jackson. They haven't announced that uh, he's going to stay on the $20 bill, but they will. That will, that will come in time. Um, but yeah, Trump needs to get out there and... Uh, and in this game, in the Federal Reserve, you know, he's talked about it, and he's talked about destroying the dollar. He's clearly a gold guy. Everything Trump touches is dripping with gold. Look at every, all his hotels. Look at his logo. He knows exactly what's going on with gold. But he, he like every other leader, has said, oh, my God, the, the, the chaos and the havoc it would cause if we allowed gold and silver to be freely traded. Too many people would die. Um and that is exactly the reason we are in this shape we are in today. And we are trapped. We are trapped within a system that the whole world has bought into. An unbacked electronic fiat monetary system, debt-based, that somehow these bankers over the years convinced the world that this is a sound and stable thing. Um, if, you, if you had said this to people in the early 1900s, they say, you're crazy. What are you talking about? A... Who would who would uh, believe anybody that they had wealth in their uh, they're holding wealth for you in a you get a paper statement that says oh by the way you're a millionaire it says okay <laughs> what does that mean what does a millionaire mean what does a billionaire mean what does a trillionaire mean electronic blips you have a portion of those electronic blips but ten people are holding it for you and what are they holding just electronic blips <laughs> it's it's really sad. Now, the cryptocurrencies is completely different. It's not debt-based. Cryptocurrency are not debt-based currencies. It is an asset. Absolutely is an asset. It's a very important asset. It's a tool to get off the old system, to get off the banker system. Um, and it's a, it's a means of exchange. I can easily go buy uh, anything I want on overstock.com. I can even go onto Amazon through a, you know, a few different avenues, but I can go onto Amazon, get discount Amazon stuff with my Bitcoin. The world is changing, people, and unless you get on board and, and don't hold on so tight to your gold and silver such that it's going to strangle yourself. <laughs> if, if you don't have any cryptos and you have a lot of gold and silver, sell some and buy some cryptos. You need both. Um, yes, gold and silver are being held back massively. Silver's got 150 years of uh, pent-up price uh, suppression that's ready to explode at any moment, but it's not going to explode until they let it go. So in the meantime, the cryptos are going crazy because of that. Money needs a place to go. The old money is dying and needs a new place to go. And if gold and silver aren't allowed to go up, it's going to go into the cryptos. But just think, all these crypto guys know what's going on with the monetary system too. So when they see a, a hint or an inkling that gold and silver are going to be released from manipulation, you're going to see a lot of that money come flowing right back into gold and silver and at that moment in time, nobody's going to be selling gold and silver, so it will go no bid, basically, on no exchange. <laughs> there won't be an exchange. There'll be no comics. There'll be no LBMA. Not that they're exchanges now. They're derivative uh, play pins, sandboxes for the banksters. Uh, but yeah, that, that's in our near future is the end of exchanges in, in their current form. And I, I did uh, invest in uh, Veritasium. The coin by uh, Reggie Middleton that is uh, can be used for uh, creating new exchanges. So the universe provides an answer. So the end of the uh, comics and the LBMA will actually be a good thing for that coin, especially uh, because it it takes the third party uh, trust out of the equation, and you can trust the blockchain for those transactions for all transactions. Really interesting coin. I don't even think it's trading yet. Um, but it should trade and it should do very well. And it's used, of course, on the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, it was a little difficult buying the, uh, they're called Ver coins, V-E-R. And it's uh, Veritasium. It's not the Veri coin, V-E-R-I. No, it's V-E-R, Veritasium. 
uh, check it out uh, when it starts trading. Should start start trading in a couple weeks, and who knows? I mean, if it is actually utilized to create the new exchanges that we're going to use to trade um, gold, silver, <laughs> cryptocurrencies, uh, anything, because the old exchanges are so lousy, and no one's going to believe them with the DTCC and the stock market. Oh, it's just criminal way to, to go about business because every few days the whole float of the whole company in the, on the stock market trades hands and everybody knows that they're massive massive failure to delivers over 300 million every day failure to delivers meaning the shares aren't exchanged your schwab doesn't go out and buy your shares they don't they they credit your account they don't go buy the shares why would they they don't have to they can play with that money somewhere else and they'll buy them if they need to you know if you ever ask for them back so the world is changing, my friends, and you got to get on board. Get your cryptocurrency by Bitcoin and Ethereum and don't even worry about the rest. Just sit back and, and watch it all happen. Um, if you if you a little more gutsy and risky, get in there and buy some of the, the smaller cryptos because they're going to be wild. But they're going to go up to you know 1,000% and they're going to go down to zero and never be heard from again. So be very careful. But uh, if you have a, a little bit of play money, go ahead. Go for it. Anyway, this is Big Square, RoadToRuda.com. I talked to Cliff High and Jason in Florida in about 20 minutes. So uh, stay tuned. I don't know when we're going to post the uh, the interview, but uh, I will keep you all informed. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, RoadToRuda.com. We'll talk to you later.